What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Sword and Shield walkthrough. Okay, so... Well, let's see. How do I explain it? Last episode wasn't very... It was very uneventful, but we got ourselves a nice, rare Pokemon that I kind of wanted to use. Got a few items. Um, changed a few moves to a few Pokemon and all that stuff, but now it is finally time to go into the Pokemon League and take on the first round of Challengers. Now, for those who are new to this game... In Pokemon Sword and Shield, it does not go by the Elite Four. It actually goes into a playoff format, which is actually pretty cool because for me it was like, okay, why why couldn't it be that way instead of battling, you know, four tough trainers plus a champion and all that stuff. I don't know, but it is a very nice change to this game right here. So let's go right ahead and take a look at what's going to happen right here. Now, there it is. Look at this big old stadium. And... Before we do anything, let's go ahead and talk to the ball guy. It has been a while, but this is the ball guy. And yes, of course, he's talking about dreams. So here it is. We're getting ourselves a dream ball. That's pretty awesome. And a somewhat different Pokeball that makes it easier to catch wild Pokemon while they're asleep. Didn't know that. I really didn't know that. I just thought, you know. <laughs> I just thought it was just there. But, you know, it's a good... Uh, it is a good indicator of what you should be using. Of course, here's Marnie, and this is it. I really made it. I made it through the gym challenge. There might be four remaining in the semifinals, but I'm the one who's going to win through and win and battle the champion. You don't say. And, well, of course, here is our quote-unquote friend. Talk to this guy, and he's like, Draven, correct? We've been watching you all. Uh, we've been watching over your performance in the gym challenge. This is a. This is just a formality, of course. But I'll need to check your gym badges if you don't mind. I'm all sorted and ready to battle you on the uh, biggest stage of them all. But it looks like uh, Bead couldn't make it. Hard luck. Somehow I didn't think he'd uh, just take being disqualified lying down. You know what I mean? Uh, I think Bead was a better person, like a better rival than you, but I don't know. I, 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 I really don't care. But anywho, I guess it is what it is. Come on, Draven. We should head to the locker room. Okay, alrighty. So here we are in the locker room, and of course, we are ready to battle some Pokemon trainers. Attention, gym, tra uh, gym challengers who made it to the gym challenge. The semifinals will be starting soon. Please head to the stadium pitch when you are ready. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and take a look at this right here. Look at that. You can see everything that's going on right there. There's a playoff bracket. Of course, we are the number one seed because we are freaking badass right here. And this guy right here is like, I'm sorry, but only authorized people are allowed to enter here. Okay, alrighty. Okay, so... It looks like to us that we will be taking on... A good old friend. So what's going to happen right here is I'm I'm going to actually change it up just a little bit. Let's go ahead and start off with Quack or the Foul right here, and let's go ahead and uh, go straight for the challenge right here. Now again, this is this is a first for any kind of Pokemon. We're going into a playoff version of uh, of the Pokemon League. I'm actually very very excited who I'm going to challenge first. But as you can tell, we're going into the pitch. Look at this. And our good old friend and slash girlfriend, gothic girlfriend, by the way, Marnie is ready to go. And she's like, <laughs> I knew you'd get all the badges and meet me here. I know that there's been a lot between us. What with my big brother, Team Yell, helping Spike Month and all that. But the truth is, when it's all said and done, I really just want to become champion for myself. So don't take it personal when I kick your butt. Anything you say, baby. Alrighty, so here it is guys. I'm popping the knuckles. I'm shaking the arms anime style Here it is. Bam It is time to take on a trainer Marnie in our first battle in the Pokemon League challenge and here She's gonna be coming out with Lybird Okay, quack or the foul ready to go Let's go right ahead and power up that communicator right there that way Zordon can actually call us up and all that crud and well here it is. Let's go. Again, <laughs> I kind of feel like we overtrade just a little bit on this one. So here she comes with the nasty plies. Of course, her Pokemon's going to be a little faster, but look at that. She's going to be increasing her special attack just a little bit, but here comes a Meteor Assault. For the win, eat it. Quack or the foul. Fatality. 
What now, Lifebird? What now? And more experience points for all our Pokemon right there. And she's about to come out with a Scrafty. So let's go ahead and switch it up right here. Scrafty, of course, is, uh, well, actually, you know what? Let's, shake, let's keep it right there. She does have a lot of Dark-type Pokemon, so it's no shame. No shame in using Meteor Assault all the time right here. So we must recharge, and here comes a scary face attack right now. Should have known that Meteor Assault is a... Uh, it's kind of a Hyper Beam uh, equivalent right here. So let's go right ahead and use Brave Bird Attack. Now this is kind of a suicidal move, mainly because, yeah, we do we do get a recoil right here. But here comes our attack going up through the roof. Unfortunately getting confused. And, well, we hurt ourselves. Oh, gravy. Okay, so let's go right ahead and use another Brave Bird. And here comes a Brick Break from our girlfriend's Pokemon. And yes, look at the Twitter Pokemon right there. And here goes a Brave Bird. Oh yeah, like the Phoenix, eat it. Say goodbye to Scrafty. Look at Quackor. Oh my God, Quackor the foul, kicking ass, taking names, making himself known. And here he's, she's gonna be coming out with Toxic Croak. That of course is a fly or it is a poison and fighting type Pokemon. So let's go ahead and switch it out right here. Now, let's see. Yes, we do have a double combination. We could get beaten in this one right here because kind of being a little suicidal right now. With Dumbledore's speed and everything, maybe. So here we go. She's coming out with a Toxic Croak. And well, look at that. Toxic Croak's looking all mean and all that stuff, but guess what? I thought it a new move, Dazzling Gleam. Too bad we're not going to use it. So here goes a Psychic Attack. Benishock's about to hit us first. And that right there takes a nice amount. Doesn't poison us, but here comes Psychic. For the win, say goodbye to Toxicroak. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Getting more points, taking more names. And here she's going to be coming out with a more Pico. That's not a Pokemon I want to take on right now. So let's go with Optimus Prime right here. All right, Optimus. Let's do it. Let's do it right here. Optimus Prime looking like Super Saiyan 3. He really does look like a Super Saiyan 3 Goku right here. And, well, more Pico, of course, has its hangry mode and all that crud. But it is an electric-type Pokemon. Let's go Body Press. Time to use its WWE move. That's right, the elbow drop to finish this Pokemon off. Say goodbye to more Pico. Oh, yes. And look at that. Michelangelo grows to level 83. And here she's going to be coming out with her Grim Snarl. Now, this Pokemon right here is a little weird. But we're going to be switching it up right now with Blitzkrieg. It needs to grow to level 80 at this moment. So Blitzkrieg, let's go. And well, here she is. She's gonna come out with her strongest Pokemon. I've got everybody's shears backing me. I'm really ready to kick your butt. So here comes a Grim Snarl. If you guys don't know, in my other version, that happens to be good old Beelzemon right there. So let's go ahead and use Dynamax and start doing the Max Ooze to finish this guy off right here. So here we go. Time to Digivolve our Pokemon. Yeah, buddy, look at this. It's gonna be growing up before our very eyes. Look at this, grow, grow, grow. Oh yes, laid back and rocking. Look at that, strumming those nipples right there. Okay, so there we go, Blitzkrieg's ready. And well, she she's like, my bro might not use it, but I'll Gigantamax my Pokemon. So here she comes out, Gigantamaxing her Gr Grimmsnarl. Now this Grimmsnarl right here, is going to have its special form, as you can see. It looks a little more slimmer, a little more diabolic. Oh yeah, okay, so it's 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 looking scary right there. Okay, so here we go. Blitzkrieg, Max Ooze, let's go, finish it. It had no freaking chance, no chance whatsoever. What now? What now? Say goodbye, and look at this. Blitzkrieg grows to level 80. Whew! Okay, so... <laughs> I'm kind of feeling like we kind of overdid it just a little bit with the, with the training. 
just a little bit. So there it is. Marnie has been defeated. Okay, so I lost, but I got to see a lot of good at points of you and your Pokemon. Yeah, kind of. Maybe just a little bit, but I don't know. Of course, she still loves us. She still cares about us and all that stuff. Everyone in the stadium was watching us doing uh, or during all that. I heard that they were cheering for me and my Pokemon. It was nice. I may have lost, but at least we drove the audience wild. Guess that's not so bad. I think I'll join my brother in the stands and we'll watch from the sidelines to see who ends up challenging the champion. Just so you know, I still haven't decided if I'm going to cheer for you. See ya! She's playing. She wants me. Oh yeah, she wants me. <laughs> and seriously, bro, I can't... Oh god, I can't celebrate. I, I can't celebrate on my own. I seriously can't. So here's Hop and he's like, Draven! I'll be waiting for you in the final match. After seeing the way you battle, I can't accept any outcome besides winning this match. My team is on fire. Okay, whatever you say, homeboy. Well, as you can see, this guy right here is going to be like, pardon me. I know you didn't get, uh, get a long break, but the match before yours ended more quickly than expected. Challenger Hop won quite handedly, so as soon as you're ready, we'd like to we'd like you back on the pitch. Huh. Well, if that's the case, I kind of want to do something right here, guys. Now, I did say that I, I am going to use a diverse amount of Pokemon for the playoff version of this whole Pokemon League thing. Now, I was thinking of actually waiting for the next episode, but uh, yeah, I kind of want to destroy Hop right now. Knowing that we may or may not have overtrained just a little bit. So, let's go right ahead and do this. Okay, so, Hop, you know him, you hate him, you want to destroy him. How can you humiliate a kid like that? Well, it's very simple, guys. Let's go ahead and take a look at our, at our, uh, you know, our, 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 po our PC right here now. Of course, I've sent my Pokemon. I've sent my Pokemon off for Pokemon jobs. That's how they got so overleveled and all that stuff. Now, some of the Pokemon that I've used in the beginning, like Drago, they're gonna be making their they're gonna be making their their debuts right here. So let's go ahead and switch them out for for our good old buddy Quackle right here. Now I know that I want to humiliate this guy, but let's go ahead and use some Pokemon that we use in the beginning right here. So we got Quackle or, or no I, Drago. And then, let's see. Oh, look at that. Krakatoa is right here. Level 71. Let's go ahead and switch him out for Baconator. Let's go ahead and put this guy right here in the beginning. So, let's see right here. And, believe it or not, guys, I do have the starter for the other version. You know, Pokemon Shield. So, might as well show him off right here, too. So, just, well, if I can find him right here. Let's see. I see some of my Pokemon. But where the... Ah, there you are. If you guys remember, we got Deadshot. I actually evolved this guy right here through, uh, well, through, I evolved him and all that stuff. I actually, what I did off screen, guys, was I actually, you know, bred, bred these Pokemon just so I can actually have two sets of starter Pokemon right here. And, well, let's see, is there any other Pokemon that I kind of want to show? Now, the first two battles in the Pokemon League right here, guys, are not different. They are not different in Pokemon Sword and Shield. It's the following two battles that you have to actually. Well, it's the following battle. Yeah, the next playoff battle that you actually have to look out for. That's why there's going to be a separate video on that one. So, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to showcase some Pokemon that, well, you know, are from the other version. Or, you know, you know I've trained off screen and all that stuff. Now, I'm looking for my big booty Balto right here. And, uh, Toxic Chicken. Or not, not Toxic, Shadow Chicken, I should say. Or Shadow Blade. Where are you? Ah, there you are. Shadow Blade. Look at that. Level 68. Ready to go right here. We're going to actually switch him out for... I kind of want to use Blitzkrieg. Okay, so let's do that. Blitzkrieg. I'm uh, I'm putting them right in the beginning because I kind of want to remember where they're at. So let's do that. And look at this. We got Bonesaw here. I kind of want to use Bonesaw, but we already got a Dragon type. Let's go and find a Big Booty Balto. Where the heck are you, Big Booty Balto? I'm, ah, there you are. If you guys remember, we got Balto back. Look at this guy. Balto. And let's go ahead and switch out Optimus Prime right here. Now, there is a Pokemon I kind of want to use. I kind of want to, like, screw this guy over with. Probably K 
can't find him right here. Let's see. Where, oh, where can I find this guy? Huh. Big booty baltos right there. And well, Look at that. We got another shadow chicken and all that crud. Let's see. Now, the starter for the Pokemon that, did, uh, that I did not choose, you know, uh, Cinderace. I named him Bex after David Beckham because I guess this Pokemon is more of like a soccer player or whatnot. Want to use him, can't use him, already have a fire type Pokemon right here. Let's go right ahead and find uh, another Pokemon. Let's see, let's see. Where is this Pokemon I kind of want to use? I kind of want to use this guy, but don't have enough experience on him. Here's Gaia 2. That's going to be a fun one. Let's see. Ah, here we go. Grimmsnarl, of course. I haven't nicknamed this Grimmsnarl in this version right here, but this happens to be Beelzemon. And uh, let's see. Does it have a... Yeah, you know what? Let's see. I'm looking. I'm looking, guys. I'm looking. Damn. Okay. Having a lot of Pokemon is just, like, really, really hard. You know what? Screw it. Beelzemon, let's go. Okay, so we're going to use Beelzemon right here. We're going to replace him. We're going to replace Optimus Prime. Like I said, guys, a lot of these Pokemon are going to get their shot at kicking butt. So here's my first team. But let's go with the second team right here. Now, let's see. Some of these Pokemon are a little underleveled, to my expectations. Yes, good old Draven is uh, still <laughs> feeling a little big and, and all that, and mighty and all that stuff. I still like to dominate my opponents. So let's go right ahead and use two, well, two uh, rare candies on Shadow Blade right here, so I can go to level 70. There we go. Okay, and then we got extra large candies right here. This one, let's go ahead and give three to Drago and. There we go, level 71. And it is uh, actually trying to learn Clangorous Soul. This one is actually a... This is actually a very good move with a huge price. As you can see, the user raises all its stat by cutting some of its HP. Well, let's go right ahead and give that to, to Drago right here. Alrighty, okay. So we got these Pokemon right now. And... Well, let's see. Let's go ahead and take a look at what, what kind of moves these guys have. So, here we have Drago. As you can see, not so speedy, but it is very, very powerful. Has one fighting type move and a few other... Well, two powerful... Well, two power-up moves and all that stuff. Don't really need that, so... Might have to change that. Here we have Krakatoa. Does have some pretty good moves itself. Burn Up, Earth Power, Ancient Power, and Smackdown. Look at that, Shadow Blade. Oh, look at this. You know what? I'm just going to I'm going to take on this guy with the uh, with the moves I have right here except for Balto. Balto's the one that really really does need uh, a little bit of a move change right here. So, let's go ahead and switch up the moves. Let's see. I could teach it wild charge. It's a very very powerful move. Let's see if I have anything else that doesn't require any kind of like uh yeah, let's see. Stomping tantrum. Driven by frustration. Let's 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 see, let's see if we can find a move that doesn't require you know uh, what was it called? Uh, it doesn't require uh, any kind of a what you call it? A recoil right here. So let's go ahead and see. Revenge. We got dive, fake tears. Dive can be learned by dead shot. Let's see. Cross poison. Round retaliate. Bulldoze is a very good move to actually teach. Electroweb cannot be learned by Balto. Snarl is a good move. There's an air slash attack right here that can actually be beneficial. Let's see. Actually, hold on. Shadow Blade. Let's see what you got. Brave Bird. Power Trip. Eh, you know what? I, uh, let's just keep it like that. Okay, let's see. Air Slash to Deadshot. Let's see. Let's see what Deadshot can learn. Tearful Look. User. Sucker Punch. Yeah, you know what? Let's go ahead and switch up some moves right here for Deadshot. Not going to affect my Shield version's uh, Deadshot, but, you know, it'll be something. And then here we have Smart Strike. Nothing. Breaking Swipe is a Dragon-type move. And this one right here, the user uses Tough Tail. Wow. Flamethrower attack, that could be a good one. Ice Beam, 
Uh, for Psychic, Waterfall, Leech Life, Try Attack, Good Gravy. Okay, so you know what? Screw it. We're gonna have to use it. Let's see. Wow. So I made the right choice by not by not committing to Balto right here because this guy can't learn anything. So let's go right ahead and electric. Wow. <laughs> Wow, okay, so let's go ahead and switch that out right there. Okay, so there we go. Wild charge for the win. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and embarrass this guy right here. So we're gonna be coming out with this team right here. A mixture of the Pokemon I started this this walkthrough with when I was Pokemon Sword, and a little mixture of the Pokemon that I'm using in the other version. So let's go right ahead and kick some ass, take some names, and embarrass Hop. Like, let's literally embarrass this guy. Let's dog stomp him. Let's take a piss on his lawn and say it wasn't an accident. We did it because we hate you. So here it is, the next battle against, or in the Pokemon League Challenge, and it's against Hop. And he's like, I just had this sort of flashback, you know. Remember back when we were still in Postwick? When we got our Pokemon from Lee that day, I never would have dreamed that I'd end up standing here facing you of all people. But it's time I it's time I finished what I started that day. Got it? The one who will become champion is me. <laughs> Whatever you say, sweetheart. Woo! This is going to be fun. Here we go. He's smacking his forehead. We are challenged by Hop and well. Get ready to get dog stomped. Here he comes out with his very first Pokemon, Dubul. Here comes a Drago, ready to kick some ass, take some names. Communicator ready to turn into a Power Ranger. We pedal back in the garden, but I'm really fired up for this match in the stadium. Alrighty. Time, time to get embarrassed, guy. Time to get embarrassed. Here we go. Close combat. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Woo! He's like aiming for a super effective hit. Of course, our defense and special defense falls, but it is what it is. It's a small price to pay. And look, our Pokemon are growing in levels. So here he's coming out. He's going to be coming out with a Corviknight. Let's go right ahead and go with Krakatoa. Oh, yes. Krakatoa is ready to go. Ready to rock and roll right here. Look at this. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Corviknight ready to go. Corviknight looking mean and everything. One of the main reasons why I switched out Shadow Blade is because of this. Because this guy comes out with a Corviknight. Really burns me up. So guess what? We're going to burn him up. Let's go. Burn up. And of course he's going to come out with a Steel Wing. Not so effective since our, our fire type covers us. Burn up attack. Burns this Shadow Chicken. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, yes. We are dog stomping this guy right here. Oh, yes. I'm, I'm actually happy about this one right here. So here he's going to come out with a Snorlax. So I'm going to be using a different Pokemon right here. Now, the easy Pokemon to go to is Drago. But let's go with Grimmsnarl right here. I did say I was going to use a whole bunch of Pokemon. Might as well do them right here. So here we go. Grimmsnarl. Let's go. Or not Grimmsnarl. Yozamon. Let's go get it. And of course, Snorlax is a very fluffy Pokemon. So, we're going to have to fluff him ourselves right here with the hammer arm right here. So, here goes the hammer arm. Finish him. <laughs> He's not throwing an attack. Oh my god. Oh my god. I am taking pleasure in this, guys. I am taking pleasure pleasure in just destroying this kid. So here he's going to come out with a Pinchurchin. What Pokemon shall I go with? Pinchurchin. Huh. Well, it is an electric type Pokemon. It is weak to ground type moves. Let's see. Fuck it. Krakatoa. Let's do it. Let's finish this guy off. Let's, let's not allow him to throw off a, a move right here. So here we go, Krakatoa ready to go again. Pinchurchin. P 
Yugi Kun I can't even I can't even pronounce this name right here, guys. I know I'm the worst at pronouncing names, but whatever. Earth power for the win. Time to eat this. Earth power. <laughs> Now, am I evil for doing this? Maybe. I don't know. But I really, really do not like this kid. I really don't like him. He's like the worst. So here he's going to be coming out with his final Pokemon. So let's go with our guy right here, Big Booty Balto. It's about damn time, man. It's been a while since I've seen you, but I've trained you very well, including the Pokemon jobs. And we're about to get this going. So here we go, Big Booty Balto, ready to go. I think you got me backed into the corner? No way! This is my victory. This makes my victory all better. Okay. So here he comes out with Inteleon. And, well. Screw it. I'm going to let him Dynamax. I'm going to humiliate him right here with a wild charge. Release all the thoughts poured into my wishing star. Time for a Dynamax. <laughs> I'm going to prove to you that I don't need Dynamax to beat you. So here he goes. He's going to increase his staff right here by uh you know digivolution ish with his intellion yeah that didn't make any sense but guess what i'm just gonna humiliate him right here by using wild charge so here we go balto wild charge for the win <laughs> eat it eat it hop i'm flipping you off there we go, Big Booty Balto's Revenge right there, and Drago grows to level 72. I don't care if I've overtrained, this is humiliating for this guy. Eat it! Suck it! That's right. May you never forget, you asshole. Draven, thanks mate. I'm really glad you were here to, with me. <laughs> flipping you off, buddy. I am flipping you off. That's how you win a battle. Anywho, I may be a poor victor, but guess what? I, I, I swear to God, I, I don't like this kid. I never liked him, and I wanted to humiliate him the best way possible, and that was using a second team just to beat the crap out of this guy. So here we have the commentator saying, and the victor of the semifinals, the challenger who has won their way through all many of uh, hopeful trainers in the gym, uh, gym challenge is Challenger Draven. You know, even when Sonya was saying you and me looked like we could have become heroes... I, n I really never felt like one. Yeah, but in the story, it tells that you are kind of a hero, so I'll give you that. And that only. Anywho, but you, mate! I think maybe you could really do all sorts of great things. Good on you, Draven. And Kamo'o. Or Komo'o. Wow, I can't even pronounce the, kid, the Pokemon's name, too. And all the rest of your team. Okay, so there it is guys. We humiliated Hop. I am happy about that. Do I feel like a big man? Yes, I feel like a big 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 Gigantamax man. And here comes uh, Leon himself. He's like, Draven! That was incredible! Brilliant! Honestly, there were even tears rolling down my face before I knew it. To think that the two of you set out together from the same town, built up the greatest teams, and arrived here at this point to throw everything you had at one another. Well, he didn't throw anything at me. I, he was kind of flailing angrily. I don't know. But whatever. That burning desire to win, those moves filled with undefeatable passion. It was battling at its very purest in every possible way. Even though there were some trainers who weren't sure whether you were fit to be endorsed by the for the gym challenge at first. That was you, Lee. Well then, all the more reason. My team members and I will give you everything that we've got in a in us to defeat our challenger. And the challenger standing before us might well be end up being you, Draven. In fact, that's precisely what I'm hoping for. <laughs> That's right, Draven. The real challenge is what's coming next. And I'm completely exhausted. I just want to head back to the hotel to rest. Best to refill your energy stores first. Why don't we all, uh, why don't we go to get some dinner together? I wouldn't say no, but you never care at all what food tastes like, Lee. A night like this deserves more than rubbish takeaways. So at least pick something good. Wow. <laughs> Smart ass to the very end. Well, guess what, guys? I feel good about this. 
I feel damn good. And, well, here we are at the hotel. Victorious. Stuffed because we ate. And, well... Let's see. What, what, what ends up happening right here? Oh, look at this. Uh, the interviewers are right there. And she's like, Jim, Ch or Challenger Draven. Hey, Challenger Draven. I got some questions. First question. You and Challenger Harp were both endorsed by the champion, making the two of you rivals in the sen in a sense, wouldn't you say? No. No, he wasn't a rival. He was just some kid that tagged along. How does it feel to def uh, they or how does it feel or how does it feel to have defeated your rival? I'll tell you how it feels. Eat it, Hop. Suck it. That's how I feel. Next question. <laughs> well, of course, <laughs> of course, there's three questions or three that you could choose them. And it's like I'm glad I could beat him. It doesn't quite feel real yet. It was just luck that I won. You know what? I'm just going to be like, it doesn't feel real. Right, question number two. If you wanted to tell Challenger Hop something right now, what could it be? I'll tell you what I can tell him. Suck it, Hop. Suck it. Eat it. That's right. You will never be better than me. Suck it. That's what I could tell him. Of course, I would just be like this. I thank him for the great match. I tell him how strong he was. That he was just a rival I knew he was. Yeah, I'm just going to say that because, yeah, he I, I look down on him. I look down on him so badly, guys. Question number three. Level with me, kiddo. Your honest thoughts here. Think you can, can win the finals too? Yeah, is the sky blue? I'm just saying. I am going to dog stomp your brother, Hop. Eat it! Well, as you can see, I absolutely do. I'm not sure. I doubt it, really. No, I'm going to say I absolutely can. And of course, Hop's being uh, jealous and all that stuff. He's like, all right, that's enough. Draven's already tired from the battle. No, I'm not. I want her to ask me more questions. Why don't you go away? Go to the bench right there. Go, go, go warm the bench and all that stuff. And you've been asking rather rude questions. No, she's been asking nice questions. Eat a dick, Hop. We've got ourselves dinner plans with my brother. So sorry, but clear off already, would you? No. Yes, yes, I understand. Looking forward to seeing the birth of a new star. <laughs> That's right. Good clapback right there. <laughs> I know, guys. I'm acting like a like a total asshole right now. But, man, I feel victorious. I feel happy. I feel like, you know what? This deserves a little bit more attention because, you know what? Screw Hop. He's been a friggin' thorn in my hip since the day I started this game. Yeah, I hate this kid. Phew. Famous people sure have it rough, eh? I hope let's uh, hope Lee gets here soon. I could eat my own arm about now. Wow. Resort to cannibalism, would you? Okay, never mind. So anywho, several hours later go by. And well, Hop is like this. This is absurd! Even Lee's never this late. Something's not right. He's always uh he's always does what he does uh, says he'll do. As a kid, he promised me that he'd become champion one day, and he went and just did and did just that. He ought to be uh, able to keep his own dinner plans. And, well, here we have Piers, and he's like, Kids, sure got a mouth on him, huh? Oh, you mean me? Yeah. I know. Is this his pent-up aggression towards that guy right there? Oh, wait, you're talking about... No, never mind. Okay. If you were that noisy during battle, you'd unleash a whole new level of power, you know. <laughs> Oh, man, I do love taking a shit on Hop. Oh, pack it in, Piers. I'm seriously worried here. So I don't need to see your, uh, see your smug looking, uh, or smug mug looking like you're having a go at me, even though you act like you were giving me uh, good advice. No, let him. Let him. We're taking craps on you, Pop, for being a sucky trainer. Gattaca. Judging by appearances, no wonder you lost your, you lost your mate. <laughs> Oh, man. I love this episode. I love this part. If you're looking for the champion, I saw him heading to Rose Tower. Hmm, why would he go there? I don't know what he's up to, but I ran into him at the monorail platform. He said he'll tell you uh, what he's uh, or he said he'd tell you that he has something to do at Rose Tower, so he'd be late uh, to, to your dinner. But why Rose Tower? What could have, a, or what could he have to do there at this hour? Can't read, guys. Piers, do us a favor. Take us to the Rose Tower, would you? 
Neither Draven nor I uh, know the way. Actually, I do know the way, asshole. Sheesh! What a rude siblings. Always so demanding of others. Though, I'd suppose... It's a real problem for me, too, if the finals are held up for any reason. And I don't really hate the two of you, little runts. Well, except for Hop, but yeah, you you were good enough to beat me after all. So I think I'll invite you Team Yell along. And we'll see all the, uh, or we'll all have ourselves a bit of fun, shall we? Brilliant! You're the best, or you're the, be you're the best, Pierce. Let's go make a, a real ruckus. Do people still say ruckus? I want to know. Okay, so that right there concludes our episode. Man, this was an awesome episode. This is my favorite episode ever. That's why it says it right there. Favorite episode ever. Any of you guys, stay tuned in the next episode. Uh, well, supposedly we are going to have another battle. Maybe not. But we got stuff to do. Things to take care of. Missions to complete. There's a lot to go over, guys. So thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys next time.